Hey YouTube family and friends, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to see what I'm doing with Genesis hair, please stay tuned and keep watching. Alright, welcome back you guys. So last night I ended up watching all the boys hair except Romeo. Um, so his hair is freshly washed, deep conditioned, and it has a leave-in conditioner right now. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to blow dry his hair out and I'm going to clip his ends and then plait it down. Yeah. So I'm like, let me just bring you on this journey of me yeah. blow drying his hair. Yeah. Just for anyone who doesn't know, Genesis just had his fourth birthday. The video for that should be up before this video. Maybe. We'll see. I'm a little bit behind again. So let me clip up my phone on this tripod stand and get started. Okay, guys. We're back. Okay, so don't mind the clothes over there. <laughs> I'm working on laundry, putting laundry away. So, yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> so... Before I start, let's unbox the blow dryer. Yeah. I, <laughs> I got this from Walmart. I'll have to put up the price on the stream so you guys can know the price. And I believe it's called Andy's. Sorry. You can see Dory? Come over here, Dory. <laughs> it's called Andy's. So let's unbox this baby and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using out of the kit today. Let's gotta be a hair strong. Yeah. Um. Dory, where you put the spray bottle? Down. Where's the spray bottle? Press it down. Okay, I got it. Before I do that, guys, I'm gonna be using some water in this spray bottle. I'm also gonna be using the Mayel Magonga Oil Thermal Heat protecting spray this is what I'm using for his hair um, I actually did guys it's me I'll show you guys later what I washed his hair with and he could oh no I think I threw it with it yeah I'll see if I have the container still because I ran down and I threw it away Okay, so we have the blow dryer. Bless you, bless you. The blow dryer. Handy dandy. Blow dryer. Sorry guys, I'm just realizing that he has allergies. So, you might hear that in the video. I might... <laughs> guys, I'm strong. In this tone it out video. and just put on music. I'm strong in this video. Because I'm not... I'm not gonna hurt my hair. No, I'm not gonna hurt your hair. Yeah, I know, mommy. Okay, so what I'm doing is just gonna plug this up. I have my extension cord over here because sometimes when I plug it up in the wall, um, it'll come out. So I just use a extension cord when I'm blow drying the hair. This is my first time using this one. Um, I had one previously, but my little pieces broke. So I just donated this part of it. So this is a replacement. And I like it. It's pretty simple and easy. I'm missing some pieces. Oh, sorry. So it also comes with... Stop, Genesis. Comes with this clip here. Yeah. It comes with this clip. This is for more, you know, I think this one is for detangling, more like detangling, and then this is just making it more straighter. Stop messing with the clips. I don't want those broken. Stop. Stop. And I don't remember Genesis. Please, don't do that. I'm not really sure what this is for. Right, they have a brush. 
and two combs. Tori, stop, girl. Eva. This is what happens when you unbox with little people. <laughs> okay, so let's put that to the side. Sit up, please. Okay. And on this dryer, it has a high, medium, low heat. And the off button. And then this right here is like a cool shot button when you press that. So, I'm sorry, Genesis. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a big comb first. To go dry. His hair is already detangled, but I don't want to go in with this little fine tooth comb yet. And I don't want it to be too bon I don't want his hair to be bone straight, so we'll, we'll just take it as we go. And see how it goes. So, his hair, as you can see, is already in these twists. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to make it closer. Hold on. Dory, can you please stay away from the light? Ascribe this channel. Thank you, baby. And hit that. Dory, bell. turn the light on, please. Thank you. Let's turn this way. I'm gonna um yeah. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna put music in the background as I do it because he's watching some cartoons and I want him to finish watching his cartoons as I do his hair. So I'm gonna Please unravel the twist. Oh yeah. Well I brought the And his hair is still pretty moisturized. Feels really nice and soft. Okay. Then I'm going to spray it with a little water. Just to damp it just a little bit more. And now I'm going to go in with the thermal spray. Your hair is done already, Dory. And this is just to make sure it protects it. So it doesn't get heat damage. Because we don't want to lose those baby curl patterns. Dory, excuse me. No, no, no. No, that's not for your mouth. Yeah. I die. She's going to move, you guys. And she may run because she never heard the blow dryer before. Because I haven't used a blow dryer in like over a year and a half, maybe. I want to put a little bit more spray on the ends of his hair. Okay. The hair shine. So I'm going to start off on. The hair. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it on medium heat. I'm just going to hold his hair and just go through it like that. I'm gonna switch over to the fine tooth now. What guys? My hair's wrong. <laughs> I 
look cool. They look cool? Yeah, they look like this or thing. And I'm going back on medium heat. Okay, so now. Now the brush. Oh my goodness. I'm losing like everything. Stop touching my hair, my dog. No, I'm not gonna do the brush on your hair. What I have here is a little pack I got from Walmart, the Goody brand. And basically, this is your precision, precision blades. Um, this is the scissors for cutting the hair. And then this is a. I got. I think it's called a, a zirated, zirated um, scissor blade. I'm not using that. That's if you want, like, I guess, different types of, a different type of cut of hair. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I don't use that one. I use this, this one here. I have one. I had one, but it kind of like, um, how you could say, like it was no good anymore. It was not sharp enough anymore, and it looked like it was starting to form brush. So, hey. What you just putting it? Don't do that. No. Stop, girl. Also, like you was forming rust or something on it, so I just threw it out. It's so serious. And then this, look, girl. Hey, get out. Go over there, please. Get <laughs> out here. This is if you want to do like how many inches you want to take out. So I'm just gonna go. Ready. Mommy. Comb his hair through. Ah. And then I'm just going to bring it down like this. And I'm gonna use this comb, the regular blade, <laughs> and just snap, cut off the ends of the hair. That's not even hurt. Right also, the blue one, guys. The blue scissors. Ouch. Stop moving, please. So now, you see how much better? Turn your head this way. Turn your head. He's trying to see you guys. I don't know if it's so. Hold on. I don't know. If, no, no, no. Stop, Dory. If you can kind of see it. See how the comb goes right through it more better? And you kind of took off little of those dead ends. So now I'm just going to twist it up. And keep on going around his head. So I'm going to go, I'm going to turn some music on for this part. As I keep working.
guys. I am all done below drying <laughs> and clipping his ends. Right now, he's a little whiny. Believe me, the process is not painful. He just doesn't like this, this, um, this one because this one gets more into the root of the hair and the ends of the hair and it just detangles it. So that's why he didn't like it. And that's why his face is looking like this and he's getting sleepy. So this is how his hair looks in twists after being blow dried. Turn around so they can see the back. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unravel the twist. Going to unravel all his strips. Calm it out. No door, please be careful. Turn around, Jesus. And there we have it. <laughs> look, turn around, just look at the camera. Turn around. He's tortured, you guys. Tortured. He's so dramatic. And I don't know why he's crying. It's because he's sleeping. But out of all my kids, he's the one that's not tenderheaded. Like, not at all. But I guess he doesn't want me to do his hair right now, so he is acting a fool. You see how high your hair is? You got a high top. <laughs> you see that? You raise the head. You raise the head. <laughs> you like it? You want me to plait it up now? No? But it got to get plaited up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the plaits off camera, and I'll show you guys how his hair look at the end. All right? See you in a little bit. Before I go and do his plaits, I just wanted to say, um, this blow dryer, Genesis, stop. Can I talk? Can I talk? So basically, on his, when I blow dry all his hair, I use it on medium heat. The low sounds like this. Medium. High. And let me tell you, on a medium heat, he did not once jump because of the heat. The only thing he jumped because of the detangler. So the medium heat temperature he's for it was just fine for him. Um, every child is different. Every child is more sensitive. Um, so every child will be different. But for him, the medium heat was perfectly fine. It did not burn him his skin. It did not burn my hands. It did not heat up hot, hot, hot. So it was really good. This one is the wide tube detangling comb, which I like it a lot. Um, it really gets into the hair and just combs it out. But this one, for a more detailed, defined, like, make sure there's no naps in there. Stop, that hurts. Um, I use this secondly. I wasn't going to use it, but I did use it because I wanted to make sure um, before I clipped the ends of his hair that it was, you know, pretty detangled. So I went in with this one, the second blow dry. And... It works good. It does. Um, you just got to take your time and hold the hair at the end because um, you don't want it to pull your um, child's hair from the root. Overall, do I like this blow dryer? I do like it. It's very, um, I would say, cost efficient. It was probably less than $20, $19 and some change. Um, I do want to invest in a, the one that I've seen on Instagram where you just stick the hair in the, in the blow dryer and it does like a reverse um, blow dry and then just straighten your hair out that that looked totally cool I don't know if it works for every hair type or every hair texture but I would really love to invest in something like that down the road but it's very costly so not right now so for now I use my handy dandy blow dryer <laughs> that I got from Walmart so it's not a bad blow dryer it's not the best blow dryer but it does the job 
and you can see his hair is still natural texture is not too straight you can still see the puffiness in his hair just like I need it I don't need it bone straight I don't you know he's a kid and um, all I'm doing is just making sure his hell his hair is healthy and those dead ends and hair is out of his hair so it can keep flourishing and I just want to plait it up so his hair can be tucked away for a little bit because I'm tired of his hair looking crazy and nappy but um, I just wanted to give you guys a little gist of that before I go off camera to do his plait. He's not in the best mood right now, but we're going to get this hair done. I'll be back to show y'all the end result. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Okay, I keep forgetting stuff to say. Also, this little comb is so helpful. Why I say that? Because this tool here is super sharp. And when I got the first one like this, it came just by itself without the comb. And I don't know how many times I cut my hands trying to clip my ends or my kids or my hubby hair. So this right here, if you use this and this together, it doesn't have to be this particular one that came with it by the inches. It could be one just like it or similar to it. I mean, it's a lifesaver on cut, not cutting your, your hand while you cut in the hair. So very, very useful. Like I said, I, I'm not going to be using this one because I really don't know what it does and I don't want to mess up our hair. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. I really think it's for more for if you're going to be doing like um, like you're doing bangs and little different other little designs, waves and stuff in your hair. Um, but I'm not using this one. So, um, also before I go do his hair, let me show you what products I wash his hair with and deep condition his hair with. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, yesterday I washed his hair. Well, last night I washed his hair with the Magongo. Oh my gosh. Magongo. Magongo oil. <laughs> it's foliating shampoo for my yellow gannets. This is what I wash his hair with. Hold on, let me get this lighting right. Okay, and then I did the deep conditioner. Also with the same brand, Mayel Mangono Oil Hydrating Conditioning Protein Free. I deep condition his hair with this. And I would say this hair cleans very good. Very, very good. I like the way it cleans and I, I like how his hair came out. It's okay. After cleaning it. It did not dry his hair out. Um, it, it did put moisture in it and it gave it a good cleaning. And his hair was a little tangled, and it kind of loosened up the tangle as well. The deep conditioner, I really like this. It um, helped with detangling, and it also like brought his curls to life. So his curls was popping when I when it was deep conditioning, and I thought I rinsed it out. And his hair was very soft and hydrated. It was not stripped or anything. And then when I twisted his hair up. And I put on one of the little, um, the caps that help to dry the hair, um, when he went to sleep. So he slept in that because his hair was damp. I put this on his hair, the My L Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I just wanted to stay in the My L, um, family. So I put in this leave-in conditioner, leave conditioner in his hair, the Pomegranate and Honey one. Um, so... His hair smelled very good. It's a lightweight condition um, leave-in, and it's, it smelled, his hair smelled so good, and um, it actually made his curls very, very pretty and bouncy. But I didn't leave it like that. Like the air dryer, I just twisted it up. That's why you see when I untwist his hair, it kind of was straight and kind of curly. I don't know if you can see it that close because of my phone. But his hair was very, it dried very straight and in curly. So it wasn't too much of a work when I untwist his hair today. And like I said, when I untwisted it, it wasn't too tangled. Just the ends of his hair where you can tell that his hair needed the ends to be clipped. That's where it was mostly tangled at. So, when I come back again, you guys, it's time. <laughs> You'll see his hair. And I'll be closing out the video. So, thank you for watching. And All right, guys, stay tuned. so we are back and I am done plaiting his hair. Come here. He's grumpy guys. Uh oh, sorry. He's grumpy because he's sleepy, okay? 
I'm sleeping. He's been whining the whole time. I haven't plaited his hair in so long. Okay, turn around so they can see. See how pretty it is. <laughs> but I have noticed as I'm plaiting his hair that his scalp is very dry. His scalp is very dry. So I'm going to be adding some Myel Organics Mint Almond Oil on his hair. Can you see that? There you go. Myel Mint Almond Oil. I have it in this little container here. So I'm going to just put that on his scalp and then that's it. Oh, this is what I use to braid up, to plait up his hair. I use the Myel Organics. Papa Grant and Honey Twisting Souffle. This is what I use to apply this hair up. So go ahead and sit down. Let me open the scalp and then I'll be done, okay? And this little dropper here I got from the um, beauty supply store in my neighborhood. I thought it was more easier than this type of cap to pour the oil on the scalp. back in finally got around to doing his hair much needed overdue feeling good now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful in any way please don't forget to like please give, leave me a comment down below and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel see you guys on the next one